So it's stretched. Yeah. Um, they, they usually like that. So it's stretched and cracked. This is what it's like to own a VW, by the way, so just get used to it. <laughs> Right then guys, future call here. My issue has been sorted, but I definitely think this is something that you guys need to check on either your T5s or T6s. Now, just to explain the problem I was having. I was driving along, then all of a sudden it'd be like, oh, okay, and then you'd lift your foot off the accelerator and then you'd put it back down again in gear and it would go again. Or you'd be traveling along, I don't know, about 30 mile an hour, you get to a roundabout, slow down to 20, pop it into third, put your foot down, and again, and I normally say, don't come here for technicals. And there's some technicals in this. Don't get me wrong, with your own van, it's always best to take it to an actual qualified mechanic, but this is more to highlight any issues that you might be having, that you might be able to go down to your mechanic and say, this chap I watch on YouTube is having this exact same problem as me, and I think it's this thing. I'm going to go back to past Cole before he realised how much of a problem he was going to have. <laughs> okay, see you, bye. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all well. Welcome back to another video. As some of you guys will be aware, we have just returned from our family holiday in France. The van was brilliant. Never skipped a beat. It was perfect. We loved it. However, having returned and got my MOT booked in, uh, a light has come on on the dash and it's the dreaded engine management light. Oh no! It's highly likely that it's going to fail. So I'm going to try and fix it myself. So the only reason I think I can fix it myself is because I've got an app called Talk and it's about five quid from Play Store. I also bought a Bluetooth OBD reader that's compatible with my van. Now it turns out that it's a MAF sensor problem. That's all clogged up and sooty, I'm assuming. Um, so what I've done is I've gone out and got myself a new air filter, some specific sensor cleaner. Now don't get anything other than specific MAF sensor cleaner. That's what I've been advised by my mechanic. He says other stuff can maybe clog it up, make it even worse. He says this cleans it and dries off. With all that being said and all that, uh, let's go out to the van and let's go check out and see what, uh, what I can break. <laughs> I got in the zone and I completely forgot to film me spray cleaning the uh, sensor itself. This is the uh, the housing for the sensor and the sensor's inside there. I don't know if you can see, it's just, it's kind of inside here, down there. And uh, yeah, I use the MF sensor spray um, to get into all the nooks and crannies. I'm going to wait for ages until that dries. That is attached to the air filter box. Now, this is the air filter box on the left hand side of your van when you open your bonnet. That's the air filter box. MAF sensor um, goes into this, and then the air intake goes onto that. Uh, there are just two Phillips screws that go into there, and I think putting the sensor back on this uh, and screwing it in before I put the air box back on again is gonna be a lot easier than trying to do it while the air box is in, so I'm gonna do that first. I've put it all back together again. Didn't film it because I wanted to concentrate on making sure it rolled in properly. The seal's in properly, I think. All the bits are back together. I've just disconnected the battery to let the ECU reset itself. Uh, and then I'll put that back on after 10 minutes and then we'll run the van and see if it works. <sighs> Fingers crossed, otherwise it's gonna have to go to the garage. But, you know, let's see. Now. Nah. Sorry about the wind noise and or my hair, <laughs> uh, but the van is running beautifully. It just sounds gorgeous. That's the quietest that van's ever run. It really has. And we'll run it for 10 more minutes uh, on idle. Take it for a drive. I'll turn it off first, turn it back on again, take it for a drive and uh, see what happens there. <laughs> nice. So it's a couple of weeks later and I thought I'd update you on how the MAF Centre Clean went. It didn't work. So I went out and I bought a brand new MAF sensor from GSF Car Parts, fitted that, and it ran like a dream for a week, beautifully. Sadly though, this morning, I was just about to take it down to the garage to have my van fully serviced because I thought it'd be a good time to have it done. And the coil light started flashing. There's always something. This is what it's like to own a VW, by the way. So just get used to it. <laughs>
So we're with Jake of Yodi Motors and he's a really good friend of mine and subscriber of the channel. Um, I sent him a message the other day saying I needed my car serviced ASAP and he says no worries mate I shall sort it out for you. And also many Christmas tree lights have happened on the dashboard so he's going to have a quick look at that. Yeah Volkswagen that's basically what it is. Yeah, so he's going to have a look at that and let me know uh, what the problem is if he can. Uh, well nobody knows uh, until we'll just it, yeah not which is all nice and spicy i i'm gonna go out on the bike now well not out on the bike i'm literally well, whizzing back home whizzing back home on my snazzy bike looking like a div uh weaving through all the traffic and whatnot and you're gonna sort it for me aren't you of course i'm pop. nice <laughs> Hi mate, you alright? Yes, yes, yes. You kidding? Right, okay, well, well we're gonna have to sort it out, we? Is it something you can do today? <sighs> Nothing to do with the MAF sensor. I've got a cracked intercooler. So Jake, the legend, has sourced a new intercooler for the van. Thank you so much, Jake. I know you're watching because you're in it. <laughs> You'll be showing it to your missus. Oh, look, I'm in Colin's video. <laughs> so fingers crossed that gets sorted today. I mean, if there's a crack in the intercooler, then clearly that's the issue, hopefully. So I've got a trip book to Northumberland this Monday with my mate Steve, who you've met before on the channel, so we can go camping and I can do you a campsite tour and go back to all the normal stuff. And... Um, and I'm glad it's not happened then, because you imagine all the way up that way, I'd have had to have paid for towing costs, because it goes into limp mode and you can't, you put your foot to the floor, it doesn't do anything. Owning a VW camper van has two sides. One side is, you know, putting the kettle on wherever you are, having a wee in your pot of potty in Aldi car park, going on adventures and all this age stuff. But then also it has this kind of, when's it going to break side. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I've had the van for about three years now and up until this point now, We've had no issues with the van whatsoever. It's been absolutely brilliant. I mean, getting us all the way to France and back for a start is a big tick in my book. However, you know, it, I was always nervous. It's like having battery anxiety. It's like having, you know, what light is going to appear on the dashboard anxiety. Fingers crossed, Jake can fix it. He's ordered the intercooler. He's going to fit that today. He's going to do the service. Everything's going to be hunky-dory, hopefully and uh, I shall update you guys as and when that happens. And uh, yeah, just issues, problems, issues, issues, problems. Right, let's get the kettle on. <laughs> Right, so Jake has just been back in touch and he's let me know that he's fixed it and sorted it, which is brilliant. It's only four o'clock, uh, so he's absolutely smashed through it. So thank you so much, Jake. You're an absolute legend. And then he's had a quick look online and he's been asking around a few of his friends. Apparently, it's a common fault on the VW T5s and T6s. So the intercooler has basically expanded and cracked. So maybe worthwhile, you guys just having yours checked just in case, because I think... You know, that could have easily happened while we were away with the family and stuff. So, so yeah, worthwhile checking. I'm really happy that it's fixed and sorted. So at least I can go to Northumberland now uh, without any issues or problems. Fingers crossed. They're probably going to be the next thing uh, in the video or something. I have no idea. But we'll go pick it up. Uh, I'm going to go down on the e-bike and, uh, and, yeah, go get the van. Apparently it says it's driving like a dream. stretched and cracked. That's I think there's one online and it's stretched out like that. So my main man Jake has sorted it out. First thing he looked at pretty much and uh, he saw from the front he's like yeah it's uh, there's something wrong with it. it looks like an impact. You could but, see the oil residue look. Yeah oil residue on it and stuff and uh, he, when he took it off he realized that it blistered it like blown basically and uh, expanded. Uh, common fault apparently on the T5s T6s so 
have a check of yours just in case. Keep an eye out. Yeah. Look for our residue. Nice. Yeah. Legend. Perfect. Utter legend. Right. I need to pay him now, which is not legendary. So. That's a good part. <laughs> That's a good part for him. Not for me. I'm on beans on toast now for a uh, foreseeable Jake. future. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell, Jake. You've got to park it a bit closer. <laughs> Nice, right, listen, just start straight away, it's like there's none of that or anything, beautiful, right, I'm going to take it for a bit of a bed. It's a couple of weeks later now, and I thought I'd update you on. It's a couple of weeks later. Is it recording? Yes. Nice wheels. I don't even know if it's recording. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Red light. Bike. Um, why? What is going on here? That's not even a parking space, you klutz. Just because you want fish and chips. Park here, there's loads there. Literally five yards up from the road. That's probably better, isn't it? Ball sacks. Yep. Nope. Right then, we're with Jake of Yordi. Yordi? <laughs> the... Right, we're with Jake of Yordi Motors. You can't speak, can you? It's too early. It's too early. Yordi Motors. Two, three, four, five, however long it is.